G'day viewers, this is Troy from the Troy's Digital Arts channel. An update on my TAC X1000R. Um, I've, I've uh, been looking at the power board, I've been checking the electro, the big electrolytic capacitors to see if they're, they're uh, giving the right capacitance and they, they're all pretty much giving close to the right capacitance so they're fine and um, yeah I've been looking at the area that that seems problematic where I'm getting like 16 volt or 18 volts instead of 12 volts 37 volts instead of 24 and 18 volts instead of 12 volts and I've um yeah I've been checking over some of the um, ceramic capacitors and like the, the uh, 10 microfarad ones were reading fine though they took a little bit of time to chart to get up to their capacitance but the but most particularly the one the 100 nanofarad uh, ceramic capacitor was taking quite some time to get up to 100 nanofarads it was starting up about 70 something and it was just slowly building its building up its capacitance so so I replaced that with a um, with a polyester which gives the immediate capacitance of close to 100 nanofarads. I should replace probably replace all the ceramics on but for the moment I've just, I've replaced that and I've fired it up again and it's the keypad is once again functional. So there we go it's playing at the moment. Fast forward. Rewind. Reverse play. Forward play. And on top of that, the uh, the the uh, counter display is displaying correctly, not just displaying some random digits. So for the moment, it's working fine, but give it some time, and it'll probably do its same uh, fail trick again. It'll fail on me and not function properly. Anyhow, I'm gonna. I'm going to, um, yeah, muck around a bit with this and just fast forward it and wait till it fails on me again and I'll finish off the video showing that it's failed again. But who knows, it might not fail this time, I don't know, but for the moment it's working fine. Anyway, I'm going to pause the video and, yeah play through the tape fast forward the sections like I was doing before seeing seeing if the playing is all working fine and then yeah see if it, see if the keypad decides to fail on me again anyway pausing video okay I've been running this machine for a good 15 20 minutes now and I've fast forwarded it and played in various sections uh, to the end of the tape and the keys have not failed yet, like as in not opera being operational. However, I did have a bit of bit of um, problems, which when I hit the I hit the uh, I've hit the forward play key and it went into reverse play, and uh, when I hit the reverse play, it went into rewind. So the keypad is still being a bit faulty and that's that is a problem um that i need to address somehow i don't know if it's a if it's some kind of logical error with the chips or whatever but or whether i still a bit of a power issue i don't know but overall the machine has been working a lot better since i replaced that that 100 nanofarad capacitor also i did uh unplug all these these uh, cables and plug them back in again because uh, I had to get the board off and to look at it and yeah I don't know if that made a difference neither I don't know if I've got a dry connection somewhere or what but anyway yeah the only 
So yeah, the only problem I can see so far uh, with the keypad is it's is I hit as it when I hit the when I hit a button it's not doing it's it's doing the function of one of the other buttons. So but anyway, I hit play and it's playing fine so far. So there's no problems. I'll hit the stop. I'll hit reverse play and see if it'll do reverse play. And it's functioning quite fine. Oh, by the way, reverse play, it, the tape will still sag, so I haven't fixed that issue yet. That's particularly what I'm at the beginning of the, of the tape for reverse play. Now, fast forward. It's working fine. Rewind. It's working fine. Go back into play again. Oh, well, so far it's working all fine at at the moment. It's just um, yeah, when I was it was just playing up a bit when a bit earlier on, and so yeah, we still got some some kind of I guess logic problem. I don't know. I don't know where to look for that one yet perhaps perhaps it might as mentioned still on the power board or perhaps maybe it might be even on the control board or even in the keypad itself i don't know now checking the voltages i've i'm still getting voltages that are that are higher than than the the, the uh, voltages listed on the on the actual um, schematic so I checked the I checked the pin 8 I'm getting yeah I'm still getting 18 volts and I'm still getting 37 volts on pin 7 and pin 6 I'm still getting 18 volts so yeah I don't know what the go with that is um, I'll just hit the hit it in play and when I was testing the when I was testing the voltages while in play mode they're still high but they're lower than than in stop mode so I'm getting 16 volts now and I'm, I'm getting 36 volts and 16 volts so yeah the voltage is still higher than than the listed voltages given there for pins six seven and eight yeah i'm i'm a bit confused on that one the main thing is it's it's working at the moment um so yeah i might have fixed the problem but i still got to work out the the reason why the keys are doing the function of another key anyway that's it for this video um any tech advice once again would be most most appreciated this is troy from troy's digital arts channel signing out